Hello, it is Tuesday. Welcome to the new vlog. Boy, um, so I've actually tried to vlog for the previous two weeks already. Um, I just felt like there was nothing to actually put in the vlog and I didn't feel right to pose that. Um, I'm gonna include like tiny clips from those two weeks if they're like worth salvaging. And there is a fair load unboxing. So let us go back to that and then we can continue. So let's have a look. just finished working on chapter five and I've just published it and now it's wrapped up. I mean like it's not wrapped up for me but creatively <laughs> like as in setting it up it is done. I'm gonna go ahead and make chicken noodle soup. Hello. But I wanted to welcome you to the new vlog. Chat a little bit while I kind of cook. Exciting. I have a lot of reading to do this week, hopefully. Um, I am maybe like 130 or something pages into Sarla C. I couldn't really focus on it yesterday. Sorting my, sorting my bookshelf yesterday for the whole day, like from the moment I woke up to like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the evening. And I didn't, re like at the time, I didn't realize that I'm basically lifting weights because obviously books are heavy, newsflash, um, which I didn't realize somehow. So today I woke up all sore on top of everything. So, so smart of me. I haven't even gone through chapter five yet because obviously I haven't finished the fourth one. new year we're just gonna go play some board games wildlife probably be back around one o'clock to go to bed because <laughs> when i have a productive day tomorrow but anyway hope you have an amazing christmas eve and i'll speak to you in 2020 <laughs> Cody actually gave me some gifts, which honestly, like, I love her, but like, screw her. <laughs> I'm just joking, because we, we agreed to not exchange gifts, but then like, we gave um, these boxes for the D&D group, which she's part of, so she's like, you broke the rule, and I'm like, well, fine, I'll get her back. <laughs> but she gifted me this, and I love it. It's the Wise Man's Fear in this, like, edition, which I actually don't have, and she knew, because um, I gifted her the set on her birthday, and like, I have the first one, but then the second one, I don't actually even know why. Possibly even more excitedly is this mug. But look, it's a soup on it, it has a handle, it's so like big and I love the shape and oh, I just love it in general. So thank you very much, Cody. <laughs> I have read nothing all year, I think. Yesterday I spent the whole day up until D&D session um, setting up and working on the Copile spreadsheet. So excited for that, actually motivating me to actually get to reading. I am on page 150 now. I think I'm gonna go and read a little bit more. It's just like six minutes past nine. I have a curfew to adhere to. The book is good so far. I'm really enjoying it. I do think that, thank God that we have the Zachary's bits because the little stories are like, just like walking such a thin line between like beautiful and like over the top poetic, um, which to me is a, a very thin line to begin with but so far there is enough balance um for it to be great but like it's constantly like on the verge of being too much cringe for me so it's such a weird dynamic but so far it's been really working for me so it's fine I have finished this yesterday. This is the second one for the Tea Dragon Fest uh, Society. The first one I read was the Society one. Like a little story about a dragon in this little town and not much to be honest. I don't know, like the first one I think maybe I read like at a very perfect time that I needed something like cutesy and first one I found that had um, the tea dragons and I think that was kind of like really cute but 
I wasn't the biggest fan of this one. Um, I might not be the target audience. Feel like I feel like this is definitely for a younger audience, which obviously teaches all about no judgment, different things, sign language, cultures mixing, different sexualities and whatnot. But it was very blatant at reading as a an adult. Um, you know what I mean like it was very much like not subtle <laughs> but it's still like very beautiful and whatnot so it was, it was all right um, one thing though it's printed so dark it was actually dark to see I don't know I feel like the printing style didn't do this justice because the artwork is so pretty and the other edition that I had was the first one from um, an owl grid and it was like a little like a comic book with like glossy pages and like the color showed up so much better on that one so I think they just didn't do themselves justice but the artwork is very pretty I didn't love it I really didn't love it it was just kind of obviously boring again not a not not the target audience I think this one read really young I can't remember if the other one did or if I just didn't like obviously I did recognize it but I just kind of like cared a little bit more I don't know this one just felt didn't do much for me so that's kind of sad but so I also read more of the Starless Sea I am currently on page 196 I'm very I'm making such slow progress I, I swear I think I pretty much love everything other than like sometimes it is too poetic for me so I got a couple of things to open for you guys very quickly before I move on with my day first of all my December fairly obviously as always I uh, mentioned that my day job is a fairly so I'm very biased this is not a review this is just for me to show you what's inside and I obviously have been doing very little boxings even before I started and I love them even before I started working with them. But anyway, defying the odds with this card and the spoilers on the other side. The first thing in there is this Red Rising inspired um, pouch. So it's similar to this one, like exactly the same size and exact same like velvety lining inside. But with Hicks and Leons, I don't know. <laughs> Here be Lions by Pierce Brown. Golden Sun, sorry, is the book. Uh, and this one is gonna be a gift for Logan. Because then we have a pouch of tea, which is actually really big <laughs> it's black tea with orange pieces and i'm like so excited fired by uh, the orange of the priory tree i just need to sniff a roof oh my god orange is one of my favorite scents and fruits <laughs> uh, wrath and the dawn socks that just match the cover and they're really schloofy <laughs> schloofy We'll go with that. Game of Pencils, like Game of Thrones inspired pencils that have like the house sayings on them with like black erasers. Um, so Growing Strong, uh, Fire and Blood, Winter is Coming, and I think it's Hear Me Roar. It's on the other side, but I don't want to unpack them. But I then we have this queen pin, which it says Fire Breathing Bitch Queen, which I think is... You guys know I have still not finished the series. I'm like, I kind of gave up on it. I don't know if I'll ever read it. Um, this is for like Throne of Glass. Oh, I forgot to say, this is done by Chatty Nora. These two items are Team Fairy Loot. Uh, the label is done by Novern Tales and the tea is by the Leaf Tea Company. Tea Leaf Company, sorry. And this is done by Love You More Studios. I really like the ombre effect. It's very, very pretty. like it a lot. Then we have some magnetic bookmarks with Skyward stuff. So we have our main character here, Doom's leg in the middle, and Mbot. It's uh, uh, illustrated by Pigeon Princess. Uh, the next thing is something I'm excited about, where you guys probably will think that I'm crazy to be so excited over it, but listen, I am a sad adult, okay? <laughs> This is a microfiber cloth and um, says my favorite game is called how many chapters can I read uh, in one night uh, the design is done by literally literary life co um, and this is a microfiber cloth so for all of your surfaces and and all your screens if you want to combine it with some screen spray and I you guys know me I love a practical item so and then we have an arc book uh, which is exclusive to fairy loot it has the signed book plate inside of the pouch but we will see that later wicked as you wish is the book this comes out I think in March 2020 yeah on sale March 2020 so this is arc and if you want to read more about it you can pause right here moving on <laughs> we got two tarot cards as per uh, we have Knight of Cups and Page of Cups, and these are um, an Ember in the Ashes series. And then we have the main book. So in the pouch, we have uh, the collectible bookmark that matches the theme, the reader letter for the main book that I'm super excited about, and the reader letter, the book plate, as I said, for the arc, um, the fairy scoop, 
and the Dear Reader letter for the ARC. And this is the book. So the normal cover is uh, blue, like you can see there. And this cover is obviously red, but the most exciting part about this, the inside of the jacket, there's also an exclusive embossing here of this person kind of falling. I don't know if you can see. And that's how the spine looks like. The book is signed by the author. The inside of the dust jacket. Ooh, so pretty. It gives me like Skyward vibes, but that's literally probably because it's a sci-fi. <laughs> Anyways, no, I love sci-fi and I want to read more sci-fi this year and I'll give you the synopsis just now if you want to pause and read. There you go. So that was December's Fairyloot. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> but I also have something else, which is this amazingly beautiful Paper Gang box. These I order myself, like I usually skip some, but recently I haven't been skipping them because I really enjoy their boxes. But I will leave the links down below for the Paper Gang as well if you want it. It's like a UK stationary subscription box. These are triangle paper clips. Really, really nice. I like that quite a bit. And then we have the rest kind of wrapped in this paper so first up we have this notepad for your desk that is like a to-do list yeah it's a to-do list you can mark what day it is that's pretty handy i use stuff like that at work a lot then we have a happy birthday card um it's really nice and foily and like the i like the flowery design so it'll go in my drawer for the happy birthdays <laughs> um the monthly card that they do i don't know if people actually use them there is a little print very instagrammy or very pinteresty i don't know I'm not down with the kids. And then the main thing is this notebook that feels really nice, like even just the edge quality, wow. Um, it's this kind of this kind of material, if you know what I mean. And it has, again, that kind of very not wintry design, but I actually really love it. Their paper quality is always so nice, and it's a lined one. Um, I like that, I like that a lot. A really nice box, really, really decent. So reading wise, I thought I will check in with you. I am currently on page 250, literally smack in the middle of this massive book. I might do a little bit of reading later on, but I'm just trying to like stay warm. Our boiler has broken and then Logan was like, oh, I'm gonna look at it, but like easy for him to say because he goes out to work. I work from home. It's very freezing. It, well, I mean freezing. It is once you sit for a longer time because it's 12 degrees in here, so I've just been trying to keep warm, but I also just did a big clean after work because I wanted to like just tidy the room in general. But also, my desk used to be there, um, and I actually really like it there just because it makes way more sense with the sofa here because um, we can put like movies on there but I wanted to move it because I know the people who are gonna like the engineer that's supposed to come tomorrow from 6 to 6 so I wanted to make him easier to like actually go there um, so I moved my whole thing here with the cables that go from like literally from like the other room for the ethernet anyway I had to like take it from under there. It was, it was a time to be, it was, it, it took a while. I'm just gonna treat myself. I really don't feel like cooking. It's cold as hell. It's so cold in the kitchen. It's cold everywhere. I'm gonna have some pizza when it arrives and I'm gonna watch some Gilmore Girls. It's so bizarre. I think that's another reason why I haven't uploaded is because like I haven't read anything because there are so many things to do in January, especially we're very busy at work and then I also had to... Bullet Journal arrived later, I had to set that up and that took like literally days. I was obviously redoing my bookshelves and sending some like later gifts. I'm also now gonna start sorting my taxes because I lost all the data when my computer died so I have to restart it so for the whole... so I have to like find things for... Hey, not a toy! They're just playing there. But yeah, I have to calculate the taxes, that's gonna take probably many days as well. Well, so I'm just like, when do people even read? But then at the day, at the end of the day, when I'm done, when I've done a lot of things, I'm just so tired. I want to completely switch my brain off. So I'm rewatching Gilmore Girls. Anyway, I'm just blabbering now. Let's let's do something. So today is Saturday. I have a burn here on the knuckle. Um, I'm also connected to an ECG thingy 
I have four hours left on it and then I can finally take it off but I have been just bad at vlogging <laughs> recently um, I'm about to make some banana pancakes for breakfast because we have bananas and eggs that both need to be used up by today and I'm hoping I'm gonna put some makeup on and then we'll see what the day needs to have done but I'm hoping to do some reading today and tomorrow so this could be like a weekend reading vlog or something I'm gonna open this little box with you. This is actually a new, new to me, stationary subscription. I think they are opening up their own kind of subscription and it is called So Beautifully Organized. Um, I will link them down below. They actually reached out to me via email and sent this to me to review. Uh, I will leave the price on the screen as well. Okay, so first of all, notebook it says dreams on it and this like foil with some daisies on it it's a very interesting shape oh and it has like line paper with the little daisy on the here is it a daisy a flower um then oh then you have a similar one that just says plans what does this one have inside oh they have like this one has a little oh that's kind of cool this one has a little um calendar in it with some to-do list on the side. There is this very flowery pen as well. Well, with a little tassel. Seems nice. I don't know if I would find this a little bit annoying <laughs> while writing, but you can definitely take it out. It even has like a little clasp. I thought there were stickers, but they're not. They're just kind of like, don't know, plasticky flowers. I suppose you could glue them in. Um, then you have some stickers for the days and some numbers. Then, oh, another little flower. Uh, a sheet that's also a sticker so you can kind of use that as well and this paper sheet I, I assumingly also to use as a decoration in your journal you have a little dear kind of planner <laughs> letter a card but you have to actually bend it yourself that says hello you know that you guys know I like a foil um, a little envelope to go with it then uh, some tissue paper for wrapping I assume and some actual wrapping paper with this same design I don't know if they're gonna have themes um, I'm assuming because everything kind of goes here then there is this little what are you seem like a planner holder I'll have to check I feel uneducated <laughs> I assume you kind of bend it over here but I'm afraid to and it has these pockets and it has this this seems complicated. Oh, how cool! For the pen, you actually have two different colors as well <laughs> to attach. That's really cute. So you can like change it up if you wanted to. That's actually pretty cute. Never seen that. Another sheet of wrapping paper. And what are you? This is the um so yeah, I think they like differ with the collections and stuff. Is this for those two planner things? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But um I think the items are really nice. Like the theme was I don't know how well how what the range is. I think this the theme was not necessarily something that I would gravitate towards, but I do like the items. So I if it's something that's in your taste, definitely recommend checking it out. Again, a link it down below for you guys to peruse but I now kind of really like the tassel thing so because you have choices and somehow that made it like much better <laughs> but anyway we're gonna go for that walk and hopefully actually do some reading later on because that would be nice she's been saying for like half a month <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday. I will update you on where I am on the book. So um, I finished yesterday on 286 page. And while I was doing my makeup, I actually was thinking like, maybe there's an audiobook and maybe it's all right. It actually is. Like I am enjoying the audiobook experience. I enjoy the narrator. Um, so I think I'm definitely going to be swapping for the second half of this book, like between these two. And I'll see if my headache subsides and then I might go on to my go and do some stuff in the city center because I have some errands to run. But I also don't know because this is going to be such a weird vlog with a lot of like previous 
clips but there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's just removed because it's like irrelevant now i don't know i don't remember if i mentioned the corners because i use because i recently started putting these metal corners on most of the books that i own if it fits the style i think i just i got them from amazon i feel like i might have mentioned it but in case i didn't i got them from amazon they're just like metal co uh, book corners <laughs> it's probably not for everyone but I think it makes it look like extra special, especially with this edition. Hoping to actually get like closer to the end today, especially now that I have the audiobook as well, so I can listen to that when I'm cooking or something. Yesterday I was actually really in the reading mood and I was also really kind of tired and just wanted to be kind of antisocial and read, but we had a D&D session and it was actually really lovely as well, so I can't complain, but there was not a lot of reading done. Hello, it's Monday. <laughs> so I tried my best to actually finish that on Sunday, but I got to page 371, um, so I'm almost there. At some point I will finish this book. And I have like kind of mixed feelings. I think I am... It was really weird because it started and I was like, oh my god, this could be a five star and then it kind of moved to four and then I think it's gonna probably be around three. But we'll see. I haven't finished it quite yet, but um, I've done a really good chunk of reading from yesterday, so hopefully. But I'm just finishing the vlog here. I know I was, I was just really hoping to finally finish this so I can actually call this a reading vlog, but like, barely so. But it's fine. Let me know what you guys were up to this weekend. Let's chat in the comments. And yeah, stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!